Hey everybody, welcome back to Bear's Den. Um, what's going on here? Alright, so, it has been a minute. I am back. I apologize to, uh, to everybody out there that's sad. They didn't uh, see me lately. Sorry if I was a little quiet on my end. Alright. What is happening here? I played with my controller the first time and now it's getting kind of goofy with it. There we go. All right, Harold McClarsky, here we go. So I've been seeing the videos of everybody doing this game, and uh, I'm jealous. I am jealous. So let's see what we're supposed to do here. So if you did not know, I am in the Huffly Puffly Puffle Puff. There we go. Let's see. Oh, uh, hello. Oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. Come to me. <laughs> so tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, Peanuts. I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Are you sure everything's all right? Yeah, I gotta oh, check yes. now. He tried to work with the ladies. Busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course, and good luck. Yep. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Oh, uh oh, oh no! <laughs> you guys know you could break the dishes just by touching them. You don't need to be frightened, little cat. Arthur's got you. It's all right. Uh, I can't quite break. Uh, come on, you went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> no, I'm sure noise. you'll find your way all right. I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowdruggles. I thought they were only pictures in the book. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. Hmm. You better be. <laughs> anyway, I'd better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Have you ever had a pet, Arthur? No. My mother's a muggle, and as soon as the puff scheme that my dad brought home stuck its tongue up her nose, it went right back to the shop. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice meeting, That's weird. Arthur. And good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. <laughs> What was that for? Oh my gosh. I don't even know that was a thing. There you are. There you are. Oh my gosh, dude. Guys, I just ate an apple. Walk up to the bowl. Plus X and eat that apple. One more time. Let's do this again. Walk around. You can go in a circle if you'd like. Mhm. Mm you can walk in a straight line to it. But all that matters is you press X and eat that apple. Very cool. All right. Let's move on. There you are. Look at that. Look at that sweet owl, dude. She's awfully Why is it that the that everybody looks like losers in my class? 
Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself. Especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. I know everything. I am a bit concerned. I have a lot of catching up to do. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Four years of schoolwork is a bit... Being that far wow. behind. Wow. I'd feel so... Okay. Inadequate. You're gonna hit me with that, of are course, you? Well, as a hard working That's her new name. You'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard working too, as you might suspect. Sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always her told arms me so. just went through her body. Did you guys see that? It like just Lenore came Lenore out of it. Rewind well, it and watch that. You. You've such a lot to do. Um, yeah. Why? Do you really think you should have been in Ravenclaw? I think you need to leave. My brothers were. They both work in ministry now. I suppose you could say that wit runs in the family. My aunt was a Gryffindor, though, and I've always had plenty in common with her. Wow. Determination, valor, daring. Mm hmm The old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. Oh. Nice to nice meet you. you. Of course. Adieu. Adieu. All right, I'm Is done with you. Out of bed yet. Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. What? What? I'm like a Weasley. Yeah, son. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I think so. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. I'll try not to. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. What's that? OWLs. Now. Yes, your ordinary wizarding exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. What? Here you are. Who's that? Wizard's Field Guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a Oh, yeah. That's right. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable wizard. I will. I'm just trying to use some peanuts, though. Thank you, Professor. But what do you mean if you keep track of all the learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, she's not. There we go. Can I. This way. You the can... guide will give you opportunities to practice your. Oh my gosh. And educate yourself about wizarding law. You can be almost a little too destructive. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. Revelio. Yeah, I don't trust these people. Ooh, more apples. Always gotta eat them apples, guys. Simply cast Revelio on it and we'll see what the guide says. Oh, see? Oh, that's pretty cool. So how do I do that? Oh. Okay, okay. Okay. Sure. That's pretty cool. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside. Ooh, 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 peanuts. Oh, 
Can I destroy that, dude? No. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. <coughs> Okay. Central Hall. That's gotta be like, I don't know, right here. Oh, that's a great hall. That's what I'm looking for, right? Okay. What's happening? And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Okay. Well, I'm done now. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Really mastered that one. That you? should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both charms and defense against the dark arts classes. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Dang right. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Mm -hmm. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you. Outside of class, you'll be up to speed in no time. Figured Judging by your adept use of Brevelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fitz succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. There's a bunch Almost of liars around here. I see what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, uh, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They have a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today, and invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. That's what I want. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more, and she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster. Hmm. That's right. Understood, Professor. That's right. Good. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field? Unfold it and have a look. 
Um. Oh, nice. Okay, that's kind of cool. So I can just do any of these, right? Oh. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. That's pretty cool. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, it sounds like you've quite a day ahead. What with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious law. So, so focus on your class. I just want a cool wand. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. What? No clue. What? What is this? No. How nice to see you, my young friend. Get out of my way, dude. Revelio. Okay. What is that? I kind of want to find something else, you know. Ooh, 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 a chesty. A chest. Mm. Open. Revelio. Mm. I can't open it. Gonna keep doing this. Rebellion. I'll find stuff. It's the last thing I do. Ooh, that that seems important. Not important, but it seems useful. But it doesn't seem that it is. Oh well, yeah, drink your tea. It's very important. Let's go. Let's do a questy. <laughs> Professor Hecket! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. 
knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. No. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. All right, let me let me blast it, you know. All right, ready, set, go. Oh, do 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 do. Yeah, see that beautiful movement there. Levioso. Charge complete. Now, let's try something a little larger. Oh yeah, let's do it. I got this. Let us begin with the basic cost. See how the dummy deflected your cost. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cost. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as master. Now, well done. Yeah, I just own that dummy. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. I'm gonna mess this boy up. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. I don't remember how to do Protego. Levioso, this should be easy. I knocked him off, boy. Not bad for a I'm a floss, though. Not get. very good. <laughs> I don't get. I don't get that. Look how happy I am. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you again. Well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional. I'll fight everybody. I don't care. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. 
exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Absolutely. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. That's Thank right. you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. That's right. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned. We'll see if you're performing we'll with you're sheer performing. luck or Look actual for Luke and skill. Near the clock tower entrance. Off, come fight you all. Till okay. next time. I like fighting folks. Revelio. Um, it says there's a chest here. But where? Where is this chest? If you know the. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. You drew. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Come on, my old hang. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Where? Whatever, I can't find it. I ain't wasting my time with it. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Run, man, run, 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 run. Oh, what's this? Nope, nope, don't want to do that right now. Revelio. Looks like that seems a little suspicious. Nothing I can do about that. Revelio. Oh, hey, kitty. Revelio. Gotta try, all right. I just keep thinking there's gonna be something. Ooh. Ooh, I got a spider hat. What? What is that? Why's that orange? Is that normal? I don't know. That's kind of cool. And it shows it. That's really cool. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Okay. Um. What are you up to now? Revelio. Who asks? What is this? How do you get into these? Don't know. Ew. Well, that was unexciting. Join the goblins in the uprising. Where, where were you? In the what Goblin Rebellion that? of 1752. And by the end of it, the oh, nice match. to see you, my young friend. Whatever. I look so goofy with this hat now. Behind you, there is an open seat here. 
Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? Must <laughs> be well. Welcome to year five of chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right? Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing oblivion on one another. <laughs> uh, I don't think thinks he's funny. Even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm. Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Come on. Only one book will be needed ready to go partnership, Miss Dale. Stuff Thank out. You. We're skipping this now. boring. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <gasps> ready? Set, go. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. Don't start I something, man. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it here. is an exceptionally lovely day. I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so. What better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? What am I supposed to do here? Simply cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like Gotham, if you will, but instead, excellent control there. Not to worry. That's it! Stay focused. That was horrible. That was horrible. Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. I'm gonna get destroyed. This isn't fair. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, okay. you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Watch this. What? There we go. That is horse crap. Akio. Akio. 
I mean, that's as good as I got. Excellent. Here we go. Watch, she's gonna get them all. This is gonna be so unfair. Oh yeah, because that's beatable. Oh man, I'm not doing good. Well done. Let us see this. All right, well that was impossible. That is how it's done. Yeah, I see that. This isn't fair. This isn't fair. That's it. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? No. What do we do? Oh, jeez. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Misha. Oh, yeah. Real. F she didn't get hit at all. She. She. This is unfair. There we go. I'm going to get hit. Watch. Oh well. Watch this. She like does it perfectly every time. Okay, so I need a 50. I need a 50. I am just not good at this. I need to do it like right now. Oh my god. I really need her to mess up. Here we go. What are you gonna pull it right into my tent? Yeah, that wasn't very smart. Oh, that is horse crap. It pushed mine out. Oh, this piece of I have to get up I have to get perfect. I have to get perfect here. I know everyone is watching, but try not to be nervous. You are doing quite well. Akio. Oh man, it just wasn't good, good enough. That one was close. I would have won if she wanted to knock me out or at least tied it. Both of you. Yeah. Well done. I don't like losing, guys. Hate it. Makes me mad. Makes me mad. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the, took me week took weeks. I don't want to talk to you to anymore. Anything right when I transferred you. That's good to hear. To put it lightly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. Mm -hmm. My mother received an offer to teach divination. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world. Well, it's been nice talking and and with you. Yeah, I don't have anything to talk to you about. Time. You beat me, I don't care about you. Of course. You can a word of if, you you if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on You humans. wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation. Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Hello 
there. You're the new student, aren't you? So what? How do I get that? Uh, oh. Okay. Cool. I look like a dork. Sir Dork, I guess. Black leather gloves. Black leather gloves. That's it. That's kind of lame. It's not even like good stuff I'm getting here. Why well, I have a a scarf. Oh, look at me. Look at me. I'm a fancy boy. Well, that's kind of lying. Like so, you don't get very good stuff. I see. Can't seem to get the smell of dragon dung out of my Legendary gloves. What? What is that? I only had these gloves. A little confused, guys. What is that? What is that? I don't understand. So I just got regular gloves that can look what? What? That's weird. Okay, whatever. I don't even know what that means. Oh, I can change the appearance of it. Okay, well that's cool, I guess. Even though it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't really make a difference, does it? That doesn't seem like a good thing to be wearing around. What do I know? Yeah. I look like a goof, bro. Okay, so... Open the map. Okay, I thought I went to the... Oh, no. So, can I just go around doing stuff? It doesn't seem like it. What's... What can I do? He's so fast, man. Revelio. we'd have something there. Revelio. What is with these cats? 
That's a crazy colored cat. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I look so stupid. I trust your first class is well. They I know. did, Professor. I heard as much from Professor's head. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here. Well, nothing more, Professor. I see. Uh, regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help. Professor Ronan. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade, We've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here. Thank you, Professor. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a, perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. Oh my gosh. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our... I don't like that other kid. He's a park. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's under... Rookwood? Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your... Ooh, I'm excited. Revelio. There you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up. Makes a broken object good as... Hmm. It seems as if that might come out. More frequently than one would... Do. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then... I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Revelio. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Killed somebody. A flying page must be around here somewhere. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't to. I completed the assignments, Professor. Let us give the old mending job. Remember to be deliberate. Yes, sir. Yeah, because that's not gonna matter. Remember, your wand is All a right, conduit ready, of your set, magic. Go. 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 Go.
Prepare her. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Revelio. Hmm. Okay, how am I supposed to get to that? Revelio. A fringed forest lock scarf. Lucky me. That's probably so great. I'm kidding. I doubt it. Revelio. Oh, look, you can jump. I just, I just learned that you can jump. What? What is this? Oh my gosh. Oh, she's right there. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor, you must be eager to have Yeah, you. let's do it. Forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Ooh. Lucky me. Bow, 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 bow. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes, I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better view in the village. The timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Revelio. <sighs> oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. We have me. to run all the way to the town. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. My bumpy last woman. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would <sighs> rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. It is, has taken some getting used to. I did not... Revelio! Wine. Oh, wait! Over here! I Rebellion. often spot lace-winged flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Look! 
from the forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Revelio. Absolutely. Likely already named them too. Can I go? There's a forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. It's still far away. So I'll say. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Rebellion. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? <sighs> Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right out of you. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, repair it. Guys, ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle when it's safe. Good day to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Green Sticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. <laughs> Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion ready. A new wand. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have it. That's the goal. Hugs me at your own pace. That's the goal. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Just let me leave. I want to go get this. Oh, I just want my wand so bad, guys. Okay, where's the wand? That's it. That's all I care about. For the time being. I'll probably wrap it up after this. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um. Oh, it's you. Just a moment, please. Ooh. 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 Ah, hello. 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 Hello.
Hello, sir. I'm looking for, for a new wand. Yes. It's about time. Yes, I... About time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what did I say? I am. Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you. Truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. <laughs> Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Mm, what? Yeah. Give this one a try. What? I don't know about all that. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. the shelf for you uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated how perplexing um, where are you perhaps you uh, ah, there you are yes I think you might be the one here Take it. Oh, that's pretty cool. I get to create my own. Hmm. Can I not change that? I can. Okay. How intriguing. Indeed. How intriguing. I'm gonna go with this one. Let's do Curious indeed. Let's go let's do So red oak. Let's make this bad boy 14 and a half inches long. How intriguing. Let's make it unyielding. Ah, Phoenix Feather. Exceptionally rare and a core with a strong sense of initiative. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sense the sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a Phoenix Feather Core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. 
Revelio. What is with the, um... Yeah. Anyways. We're gonna wrap it up there, guys. Uh, very, very fun, as we would figured it would be. Um, yeah, I mean, what else is there to say? We got a cool one, we got to make our own one, and uh, the story's still just starting, and it's been nothing but fun. Uh, let me know what you guys think, uh, if you're playing it, how far your progression is, and what you guys think about it. Um, so far, I'm really liking it. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and as always, guys, thanks for watching.